will have all the luck. They have these great abilities. See through walls, move objects around with their mind. <sighs> it's so unfair. Dreadfully unfair. I feel like I'm an extraordinary girl inside. I just don't have extraordinary abilities. <sighs> it's just a silly dream. <sighs> What's that smell? I can't believe what I'm seeing! It's definitely an unidentified phenomenon! Rosa! Extraordinary! Who? Uh, A person uh, with extraordinary abilities! I've been looking for you everywhere. Uh, uh, would you like to go swing on the swings? I can't go. Why not? Oh, don't ask. You wouldn't understand. We unique, um, unique. Oi, uh, uh can't you see that we with extraordinary abilities can't be understood? We are so extraordinary. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't you know it? Just when you're ready to save the world, no one is threatening it. <laughs> Son, this tree fell down. <clears throat> it was during last night's storm. Uh huh. Uh huh. Stand back. Watch this. <clears throat> Nailed it. That's oh. one way to do it. Rosa, thank you. <laughs> Why are you hiding? I'm here to help you. Uh, we'll come out later. Whoa, 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 and you run, 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 run out of charge. Uh, huh. <laughs> Barry? What's wrong? I know your game. If you want something, just take it. Really. Take my watermelon. I don't want anything. Just calm down. I beg you, please leave me. Why are you all afraid of me? <sighs> Taco! What is that? A rubber suit. It doesn't conduct electricity. I feel absolutely safe around you. Come in. Look, I also made one for you. Am I supposed to wear that forever? Of course not. Only outside. Or if someone comes to visit. <laughs> when you're alone, there's no need for it. I don't want a special outfit. I don't need anything. <laughs> I thought we 
that you had extraordinary abilities, people would adore you. That's not how it is. They want to put you in a space suit. I only wanted to be helpful. <laughs> It's me, Wally. I know you weren't expecting me. Here. They're beautiful! Ah! Oh, I'm sorry. Dear me. Are you okay? No, everything's fine. I think I feel extraordinary. Our treehouse <laughs> is gonna rock. It'll have a swing and a ladder and a... Oh, hey, Chico, should we have hard hats for this? Oh, buddy, whoa, well, take it easy. <laughs> easy. Go, <laughs> 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 Hey, Wally, you got any nails? I said you got any nails, Wally! No! No! What the blazes are these? Nails. Crash said you didn't have any, so he asked me to bring you our extras. Hi, Wally. <laughs> I was just passing by. And I had some time, so I thought I'd drop in and we could catch up. Yes, of course. Come right in. You want to talk? Talk. Just do it away from me. He's cranky today. I think it helps him really crank out his poems. <laughs> what does a ram have to do to get some peace and quiet around here? It's like they're trying to annoy me. I think I deserve some alone time. Okay. Wally! You're getting wet! Come here! I've got an umbrella! <laughs> oh, great muse of poetry. It is I, your humble servant. I beseech thee. Give me the silence I require to create my poetry. Grant me the solitude I deserve! An island? A desert island! It's only me, alone at last! Alone at last! Thank you all so much for listening to my humble little poem. So now, <laughs> I want to hear your honest opinion. Huh? What did you think? Speak up. Don't be shy. What's that? It's magnificent? Oh, stop. Huh? Brilliant? Oh. Huh? Wait, who just said it was worthless? Was it you? Aha! Uh -huh. Don't bother to deny it. 
You, sir, know nothing about art. Pass. Don't be a ball hog. <laughs> Blocked you. It's mine. <laughs> I'm open. Come on. Why am I the only one on defense over here? Uh, I mean, uh, boo. Boo! Foul! That was a foul! Pass! Hustle! Hustle! Take it out! To me! I'm over here! Shoot! I cast a load upon the yeah. waves yeah. to cross the ocean blue. I thought I won. In solitude, but all I want is you. We're too late. I He's already gone. Inside the <laughs> rain, I see you <laughs> in the sky. I didn't know just what I had until I said goodbye. I didn't know just Wally, what I had. Wally, we've been looking had everywhere had for you. Did you send us an SOS? Oh, thank Not goodness. Coconut. Because it had no directions. There you go. How are we supposed now to find you? Look you? Awful. Very cheap. You a nice, I sailed around the harbor Irish for breakfast. a week. Mm -hmm. Am I dreaming? Or am I really going home? Chico, if it's truly you, pinch me. No! What do you think you're doing? You asked for it. You seem strung out, Wally. You should take a vacation. Someplace sunny and sandy where you can lie under a palm tree surrounded by the ocean with all the coconuts you can eat. It'll be fantastic. You deserve it. And action! A giant meteorite! Or a meteor, I don't know, anyway, whatever. It's a huge space rock flying a zillion miles per hour. Chico, you're the first lonesome traveler to ever set foot on this incredible space rock thingy. You've traveled 10 billion miles in your ship, and you're walking around on the surface. Ahem, <clears throat> I said walking. You're all alone exploring the vast, uh, vastness. And you're having an awesome time. I said an awesome time! There you go. But wait! Oh no! The explorer isn't alone! Could it be a hostile alien? It is, and he's extremely aggressive. This means danger. Our explorer brings out his mode of self-defense. Yeah, yeah, that one. Just as he readies his weapon, the meteor suddenly flies into a dangerous radioactive storm. Oh, it's shaking things up. Ah, oh, wait, that's just the film messing up. Excuse me, I asked for a storm. I can't work under these conditions. Who's in charge of special effects? <laughs> there might be a problem. I'll fix it as soon as I can. Fine. Everyone take five. A soft five. Be good now. Action! My totally spaced out life take twelve. Gotta hand it to Pin. These effects are something. Where's that robot who plays the monster? Gross, 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 gross! Pew, pew. Pew? <laughs> pew. No need to worry, but I might have lost our robotic actor. I can't get a signal from him in this form. Mm -hmm. I'm more worried about Chico. Why can I not see my star? That's my fault. You asked me to make real fog, so I made it. Ah, well. Ah, great. Yoo-hoo! Oh, 
Someone! Help! No! I don't want to be a space hero! Chico? I think I heard something. <gasps> <laughs> Stupid robot, get over here. Day twenty. No further signs of intelligent life. I'm light years away from everyone I know, which is probably fine since they got me into this mess in the first place. Pew, pew. This is the last time I do a movie for Crash, really. I just wish I was home. Chico, it's about time. Hey, where you been? <laughs> the fog totally ruined everything we tried to shoot. <laughs> so we'll have to move the part where you find a confusing celebrity cameo on Mars to tomorrow. <laughs> uh, where's our place in the universe? <clears throat> Beats me, I don't know. But it's just as fun here as it would be anywhere else, right? <laughs> If you think about it, we're all kind of space explorers, flying away on our own tiny meteor. The only difference is that none of us have any kind of script. Or laser, I guess. Listen to you! I would be sitting at home right now, all warm and cozy, and getting ready to... Eat, Daco! The only reason we're out here is because of you! You asked us to keep you away from food! Foodaholic! I thought that you would tell me some interesting yet educational stories about the benefits of fasting! But instead, you're dragging me through the snowbanks in the middle of a blizzard! A hike is a perfect solution for those who eat too much. You spend more time moving and less time eating. We have moved so much that I think we're lost. It's fine. When the storm calms down, we'll find our way out of here. Look, there's a log cabin. <laughs> wow, look how much <laughs> snow is falling. <laughs> Go move out of the way. <laughs> It looks like no one's been here for a long time. Come on. Huh. Looks like the house is abandoned. Don't we have any food? You forgot the magic word. Um, please? <sighs> no, diet. You're crazy! What if we're stuck here for a week? What are we supposed to eat then? Hmm? <gasps> There's somebody out there. Oh, um... <gasps> I saw someone lurking out there. I crossed my heart. Maybe he's hallucinating from hunger. Maybe we should give him a break. Hmm. You think we should feed him? Ah! <laughs> 
Remember, that's all you get for the whole day. Mm, thank you. Mm. They have food here. I know it. This is a rude and inconsiderate way to treat one's guest. I saw you. Who are you? A friend or a foe? A friend? <gasps> you know they're hiding it from you. Get it from them. You mean they really have food? I don't get it. Why don't they give it to me? Now, you know the truth. It's either them or you. You're so kind, so appetizing. Don't go away. <laughs> Let me hug you. Push it out. Did you feed him? Yes, according to the diet. The burger told me everything. What? We had a burglar in here? Not burglar. The cheeseburger told me you have it. Hand it over, no one gets hurt. Hand what over? I'm done playing games with you. I want the food! <sighs> Holy carrots! I guess uh, you can't really make someone change against their will. I mean, if you are ready, then you can change yourself without help from anyone, right? Yes, you're right. He's not ready. I mean, it's like he doesn't eat for a couple of hours and he starts seeing talking cheeseburgers. Oh, my naive friends. It's not just a figment of my imagination. It really does exist. <laughs> it's so big and appetizing. You can try to lose weight and follow a diet all you want, but I can assure you that in the end, it will most certainly come after you, and then... And then what? Oh, nothing. Don't worry. You'll see it someday when you're ready. <laughs> Boy, Pin sure has been real sad lately, you know. Mm. What is bothering you, oh saddened one? Oh, uh, my BB has disappeared once again. No letters or no telegrams either. I'm worried something might have happened to him. Hmm. It's amazing how insensitive young people can be sometimes. Where is their gratitude? Where is their loyalty? <sighs> what are you gonna do? That's just the way they are. You know, when you were designing BB, you failed to take into account the most important thing, and that's his sense of loyalty. <sighs> but how is one supposed to take that into account? What do you mean, how? It's an extremely vital part of the process. A creation's heartfelt loyalty is the first thing a true creator has to ensure. It's imperative. Talk is cheap, you know. <laughs> been doing it yourself. Now that's a different story. <laughs> okay, I see. Yes, I shall try and succeed too. I'll show them what a true creator is capable of. And now for the most important element of all, loyalty. Now then, get the most important element of all right, and the creation will never forget its creator. 
We're in the epicenter of a thunderstorm! If this storm holds out a bit longer, the lightning bolts will do their work! More, more, more power! I did it! I really did it! It's alive! Alive! <laughs> hey, Darko! Darko! Open up! Come on, it's me! Ah, Barry, there you are. Is something wrong? Well, I thought I'd see if you want to go fishing. Yes, very thoughtful of you. Uh, thank you, dear fellow. Uh, perhaps some other time. Is there someone in there? Oh, nobody. Yes, yes, I'm coming. Uh, no one. Well, ain't that a stinger? Change your mind. You know where to find me. No, no, that's hot. No, no, don't touch that. Hey, stop playing with that. Stop, stop. This thing never works. Huh? Oh, hi, Adako. Oh, Barry, save me, please. I did everything according to the ancient books, word for word, and I was able to bring him to life. But I'm afraid I put a little too much feeling into it. His loyalty is overwhelming. He won't leave me alone, even for a second. <laughs> it's a nightmare. <laughs> Listen, I was able to lock him up for now, but it won't be too long before he breaks free and he'll come for me. He'll want to play. I knew it. He's here already. Uh, it could just be a small draft. Uh, okay, a large draft. Oh, please don't let him hurt us. Don't let him hurt us. Don't let him hurt us. Shh. Do you hear anything? Just you. Uh, where is that? Uh, that, uh, thing? Look. There. Let me ask you, you make him out of clay? Well, that explains it. <laughs> the thing is, you just forgot to fire it first, that's all. Clay things have to bake in an oven thingy. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's a really good thing that you aren't a potter. I already repaired the walls. Now I just gotta hang a new door. There must have been an error in the calculations. Maybe loyalty isn't really the most important thing. The most important... That's it. Independence! The most important element is independence! Mm. Huh? Masquerade? What's the point of a masquerade? Who thought this one up? I could see if we were criminals, then we'd have to hide our faces. <sighs> wow, that actually looks pretty good now that I see it on. <laughs> I guess it wouldn't hurt to see what everyone else is coming up with. Now! Now! Mm. I'm telling you! 
telling you, no one's gonna know who we are in these robot costumes. They're gonna think we're being invaded by aliens or something. <laughs> They'll all be terrified. But then, Crash, Chico, we'll all be. You in first place for those costumes. <laughs> Oh, Chico, really? Do you know how much time I spend making that? I don't think this is the right costume for me. Just be patient. You need to bond with it. Hey, listen. We should go and spy on the other costumes so we can see how much better ours are. <laughs> but I can't wear a rabbit costume because the minute Crash shows up, we'll have rabbits everywhere. It'll confuse everybody. That's the whole point, Mary. Crash is going to show up wearing an entirely different costume. It wouldn't make sense for him to go as a rabbit. Even so, don't you think I should be a football player or a, a lumberjack? A rabbit's just a little too cute and fuzzy. You're going to fool everyone. They're going to say, "Oh, he looks like a real rabbit. Taco, how do you do it? Ha, 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 ha. At least you're not dressing up as an alien. That's the most overdone costume ever. Plus, then you'd have to spend the entire night explaining to everyone what you're supposed to be. Um, I was just wondering, how are people going to know that I'm an alien? <laughs> well, I guess you could always hold a sign. That'd do it, right? Well, then what's the point in having costumes in the first place if we have to hold signs saying Alien 1 and Alien 2? <laughs> I figured it out! The best idea ever! We'll go as Taco and Barry! And let them go as me! Our costumes will be epic! We'll look more like the two of them than they do! Every hair in place! It's fine. There, that's perfect now. Uh, it's a bit awkward. Wasn't the whole idea that our costumes would look really good? Oh, well, I mean, Barry's my friend, but this isn't an attractive costume. I, I just think that maybe we could find something prettier. <laughs> I've got it! I know what I'm going to be! I've got it! I've got it! So what are you going to be? Did you decide? Oh, I've decided all right. <laughs> and here we are. Perfect. You're making me go as a demented bunny rabbit, then whip that out for yourself? That's professional quality. Yeah, you definitely got the better end of the stick. <sighs> I'm not making you do anything. Go find your own costume. But I'm ready to go. <laughs> Almost there! Just wait till they see us! I can't wait to see their faces! Oink, oink! <laughs> oink, oink! <laughs> <laughs> Well, there's an original idea. That's a lovely shade of nail polish. This is just like a dream I had once. I'm fine. Just a little warm. 
This costume is great, but the fabric doesn't really breathe that well. Great costumes, everybody! Here you are! It's Carlin's turn! You know, I could have fallen so many times. I came within an inch of my life, but somehow managed to survive. My dear friend, we were looking for you for so long, we thought you didn't want to play with us anymore. I've heard some folks say that everyone has their guardian angel. But I didn't think too much of it, actually. Yeah, sure, naturally. I wonder what kind of angel I have. Uh, what? It's a pity that I can't see him. Get that out of your head! He knows everything that I've carefully hidden from others. He's seen everything. You have no serious reason to worry about being judged. You are wonderful, kind, cheerful. <sighs> it was me who had eaten your pie, not the bees like you thought. <gasps> I cannot believe you did that. You're an animal! I mean, it's totally fine. Not a big deal at all. I feel ashamed in front of you, but I feel even more ashamed in front of my angel. He's having a hard time with me. No! Mm. No! It's a sign! Uh, 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 do you think it's your angel? Why would my angel care about you? No, it's yours! What do you mean, my angel? I would thank you not to impose your naive worldview onto others! No! He wants something from you. Nonsense! Mm -hmm. Fine. I'll admit it. But not because of some angel, mind you, because of my love for the truth. I did peep at you when playing Blind Man's Bluff. Well, I'm scandalized. If I had been your angel, <laughs> I would have punished you harder than with pine cones. <laughs> You have driven me crazy with all this talk of angels. I can find no peace. Whenever I am trying to do anything, I cannot help but think about the way my angel might see it. Do you want to gain his favor? Well, not that I am saying that I take this seriously, but I'd prefer him to save me rather than throw pine cones at me. I spill tea on myself. What for, I wonder? And I caught my toe in a door. It's appalling. I'm scalded by hot tea. Why should I feel sorry if it's not my fault? 
In all honesty, I felt much better when I didn't make any connection between my moral imperfection, pine cones, and hot tea. Without angels, my life was much better. Nobody watched me. I wonder if it's possible to see him at all, and if he's around me all the time, or just sometimes. Ow! Well, for goodness sake, dear me! I tried to see my angel, too. Spent a whole week experimenting with reagents in my lab. Was about to make a breakthrough scientific discovery. But today I forgot to take the mix off the gas. My discovery is gone. I want to ask him one thing. Where on earth was he at that moment? I need to talk to his manager. I want a replacement. Well, I like my angel. Why on earth would you want to see him, then? To thank him. On the other hand, you can say thank you even without seeing your angel. Hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Give it to me. <laughs> I am so angry with you! Some guardian. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Who could it be at this hour? <laughs> Darko, you're trembling. Please help me. Ben, you have to help me. He's right behind me. I don't know how he found me. <laughs> Please, Ben, you have to help me! <laughs> Please calm down now! So who found you? The... clone! Not many people know that when I was young, I was trouble. I was an impulsive and arrogant punk. I was so cantankerous that I had no friends. And of course, I was lonely. But I had talent, knowledge, and the key to the biology room. I decided to clone myself in secret and created my copy. I hypothesized that he would be as much of a rascal as I was, and I wasn't disappointed. I got the friend I deserved. Believe me, the two of us were quite the pair. I don't wish to recall all the terrible things we did. Horrible. So bad. But in time, I realized it's silly to be a nasty rascal. And on the contrary, being intelligent and kind is the best way to live. But the clone didn't agree. He harassed me and my new friends, demanding that we slide back down the slippery path into rudeness and savagery. I had to hide from him and eventually lost him for good. However, today, all these years later, when I forgot about him entirely, he comes back to haunt me still more. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'll help you out. Where is he? At my place. <laughs> ah, brought your friend, I see. Nothing left to eat, so... Uh, listen, I'm here to ask you to please... Get lost. <laughs> please, please. <laughs> He's funny. I'll call you... Pinocchio! <laughs> All right, morons. Let's go turn things upside down. <laughs> First off, I'm not a moron. I'm a scientist. Secondly... Dweeb, listen here. Zip it. I really don't care. <laughs> We're just getting started. <laughs> <laughs> Timber! 
I can't bear such shame. I should pack up my things and move out. Everyone else shouldn't suffer because of me. Mine, don't do that. There's another way. I have an idea. Once he's on the boat, we'll turn on the autopilot. I'll set the course for one of the ports in my hometown. When he gets there, they'll knock some sense into him. He'll be reformed in no time. He won't trouble us ever again. Your job is to just keep him happy for now. Keep who happy? Me? <laughs> Pinocchio, and I thought we were friends. I am not your Pinocchio clone boy. I told you I'm a scientist. And you, you're a vicious, rude, uncivilized rascal. Daco, <laughs> we should teach this traitor a lesson. You should just get out of here. Isn't there somewhere else in the world big enough for someone like you? Did you forget? I am you. You're the one who made me this way. But long ago, I changed my ways. I would have hoped that over time, you might have changed too. But no, you're still writing on fences and breaking windows, you hooligan. <laughs> Hooligan, huh? Well, I'll show you what the years have taught me. I am going to do such a nasty thing right now. You'll never forget it. <laughs> That's fine. They'll straighten him out over there. Well, I don't know about that, Dweeb. We're both kind of stubborn. <laughs> Look at all this. It's all trash. Trash! <sighs> I don't know why I thought I could ever make something worthwhile with all this junk. <laughs> hey, Pin. Ooh, what is this stuff? Oh, are you making an invention? No. It's just a bunch of old junk that's no good for anything. <laughs> Where are you going? The dump. <laughs> I don't even bother. Such a waste of time. He must have inventor's block. The uh, pin, wait up. Can't you use this stuff? Uh, like this cool thing, for example? No. Could you please put it back? Check this out. It looks awesome. It's garbage. Huh? Uh, how about this? Cool, huh? Junk. This one? No. Look at me. No. Don't you want it? Think of the uses. No! Dump it into pile with the rest of it! Not even this pin? I'm sure you could use it for something. Oh, yeah. This is one of the best things I've ever seen. Will you tell us what it is? Yeah, sure. Hmm. <laughs> This was my happiness machine. For real? Well, it would be if it ever worked. So you would aim it at some unhappy Whoa. guy like this, and bam! He's happy forever! Sounds great, right? Piece missing. A very important piece. 
What is it? What does it look Would like? It work if is you it had here it? in huh? the dump? Tell us. <laughs> it's here somewhere. It rolled away from me. It's a green ball about this big. It has holes in it. There's a chance that we might be lost. It's all right. We'll be okay. We just have to bring Pin that part. He'll finish the machine, and we'll be three happy guys. Happy right about now. to give me a better view of the dump. This place is humongous. You never could have covered it on foot. It's so cool. Yeah, well, it came in handy. Wait, it just fell out. Uh, what did? The part, the part that we found. We have to go back for it. Pin needs that. Ah, uh, haven't we found that happiness doesn't come from a machine? I bet you'd be happy with a blanket and a cup of hot cocoa right about now. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh. So, you nervous about the race? <laughs> No way. Why should I be nervous? Ha! Makes sense. No reason to worry if you haven't got a chance. On your marks? Get set? <laughs> <laughs> Thought I'd give him a head start. It's the nice thing to do after all. Gotta even the playing field for these poor chumps. <laughs> Here I go! <laughs> Looking good, Wally. Not a bad day for someone with four left hooves. Nice weather we're having, huh? Well, I should be off. Later, Wall. Good determination. You'll look good with that silver medal soon. See you at the finish line. Huh? Come on! <laughs> Easy! Oh, hail your champion, the unbeatable! Oh, 
Holy carrots. How is it possible? It can't be true. Hedgehogs can't outrun rabbits. Wait a sec. <laughs> nope, still awake. On your marks? So, you nervous about the race? No. Why would I be nervous? <laughs> No, Chico's been cheating. Hey, my fast friend. Want to try a round of ping pong? Hey, uh, you're not bad at this. Almost like you're a completely new hedgehog. Why, thank you. Oh, surely you have some kind of secret. I sure do. Which is? A special diet. I knew it! What do you eat? I eat the competition, smoked rabbit. Get it? Ha, ah, good one. Hey, I'm just joking. Everyone loses sometimes. Well, it's not the losing I mind. I like playing fairly, without any cheating mechanisms. Hmm... Hmm. Listen, I know you wanted to beat me bad. I'm pretty impressive. So badly you wanted to turn to nefarious methods. I get it. But that kind of trick? That's some pretty shady stuff. It's not right to keep secrets like that from friends. I didn't realize. Do you want some? What? For me? Are you crazy? No way, no. I am a champion. admit that you have a problem, but know this, you can't fool everyone else. <laughs> Nothing like a smear campaign to let everyone know who the real winner is. I'll show everyone he's a fraud. This is for your own good, Chico. Those who win races should be the fastest and fastest alone, not the best. Cheating! Yeah. Dangerous energy drinks should be banned, especially in good, honest races. Yes. And if anyone here has a problem, we won't shame him. Well, maybe just a little bit. I mean, we'll strip him of his winning title and give it to me, but no shaming. Just admit it. Yeah, he's right. I think. The culprit. Please confess. Mm hmm. Holy carrots! You really don't know who I'm talking about. Him! It's Chico cheating! Look at him! He's drinking it as we speak! <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, this is a carton of milk. What is he? Mm-hmm. He's right. It's 1% milk. So what's the other 99%? Uh, uh, uh. I'm sorry, Chico. I just wanted to win so bad. <sighs> Chico, I never should have accused you like that. Even though I still don't understand what's in the other 99% of milk. Do you forgive me? Please say you do. Don't worry, friend. It's all fine. And it's kind of like a trick. Uh, how's that? One could say you were almost right. No, no, no. Well, no, milk no. is so full of nutrients, it can help you win. It's full of protein, which helps build muscle mass, and helps make your body stronger and stuff. And, uh, well, it has vitamins and minerals, and it's healthy, so it's kind of like a magic potion. You think so? Oh. <laughs> I finally got you to admit it, you sneaky cheater. You used the protein and milk to get superpowered. I'm on to you, buddy. 